So here's how I joined a cult, sort of. Don't freak out, but this is about two types of cults. Cults are basically like groups of people that have a leader that share an ideology so strongly put that it can be destructive to the members of the community and it could be very negative for members of the community. People can be sort of sexually exploited. People can be taken for all they're worth. Not only that, they can become indentured servants to sort of cater to the cult. There's been all sorts of weird cults that have been sort of exposed. There was the Nexium cult that Allison Mack is now being incarcerated for. Hollywood's a weird place. There's a lot of really good looking folks that are super insecure looking for validation. I uh, was obviously very vulnerable when I was in my 20s. I was looking for a lot of answers. I tried a lot of different things. There's an Indigo Girls song that I really like to play when I'm like super moody and emo, which is called Closer to Fine. The lyrics are like, I look to the bottle, you look to the workout, out, you look to all these different things, right? In LA, you're definitely in like constant search of something. I think that's why there's all these like trendy workouts, trendy diets, trendy. These things don't last very long, but like there's always something new. Living in LA is, it's very isolating. Like people assume that there's so many people there and that everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody in passing. And I think now it's even worse because people know each other from social media, but don't necessarily know each other in real life. You can pass somebody and not have a meaningful conversation with them. And so where, where are you? Where's your life? What is your existence when you live in LA and Hollywood and like that whole world? There's just no meaning there. So a lot of people go through different things. And I thought that if I joined an acting class that I would feel sort of like I was part of the Hollywood community and I had heard a lot about the acting school that I went to. It was very esteemed and it had really great teachings and it was one of those things where it was like unavoidable. Acting class is basically a cult in Hollywood. You have to make sure that you're going to work with people who are good at what they do to the point where they don't try to keep you down so that you stay as sort of like a part of their community. They want to essentially indoctrinate you into the way of their thinking, like the way their school thinks. A lot of times the teachers will come on to the students, have relationships with the students. Doesn't matter if they're married. I have never had a relationship relationship with a teacher, I can tell you that much, but the amount of dating <laughs> that's inside an acting class is just repulsive. It's not exactly a safe space. Say you're a young person that's looking for some camaraderie and you hear about this really great acting teacher and you go and you join the class. In the class, there's people that have day jobs and there's people who are from rich families. There's people who are just eking by or they're on their way out of California. They don't even wanna live there anymore because they can't make it and they can't cut it. There are so many different kinds of people in these classes. It's really not a safe space because there's nothing really governing it. The teacher doesn't really hold the students to any standard. So if there's, you know, some weird relationship drama, as long as it's not taken into the general function of the class and creating an issue, then the money's being distributed and the checks are being written and the teacher's being paid for their services. Basically, like when you join the acting class, you're encouraged to spend time with your classmates. If you've ever seen that show, Barry, uh, I think that's the most accurate representation of acting class idiocy that <laughs> exists where you go to like a bar near class and you guys get just faced and somebody hooks up with somebody and then they're in a relationship. Some people have actually like gone into relationships with people from acting class and gotten married and stuff like that. Like there are positives that come out from certain relationships in acting class, but for the most part, you're dealing with people who have egos. And if one becomes like an actor that's like on a show, then it's gonna be contentious for the other person that's, you know, not acting anymore or they were in acting class and now they can't get a job. It's odd, it's weird. The, uh, the acting teachers are, are really to blame here because I saw some crazy stuff. Like you always hear about how like the main acting teacher hooks up with students, but like you don't really believe it until that person is hitting on you. You're at a bar and it's like, wait a minute, but you're my teacher. I thought you were just being cool by having drinks with us and you're propositioned and it's really weird. You know, I've seen some people post online as well who weren't necessarily in as much of a sort of established career path as I had been 
when I was in class actively and they were exploited. You know, they were propositioned. They were told that, you know, if they told anybody that it would be very negative for them or they would be blacklisted. And you know, there's, there's a lot of cruddy people out there. Even people that are considered really good at what they do teacher wise. And here's the thing, I actually have so much respect for the people that taught me, but I can't have respect for certain things that they did. I can't have respect for the way that they conducted themselves sometimes in class and the way that they critiqued people. I think that it's bullshit to critique people and indoctrinate people to make them feel super duper small. And what I've realized about the Marines, because my husband was a Marine, was he tells me a lot about how boot camp was for them and how it's all about indoctrinating a person so that they can be brought down to be built back up by the military and be stronger and be a soldier essentially, be built up to be a soldier. But what they're trying to do in acting class is break you down to build you up as an actor, which doesn't make any sense at all. You are an actor. That's just who you are. Like if, if you're choosing to act, you don't need to be broken down as a human being. People in acting class think that they need to take away your quote unquote ego, but what they're really doing is they're indoctrinating you into being able to manipulate you and that's not good acting advice. That is not the way to access a person's soul or to make them fall in love with acting. The goal of the acting teacher should be to really have you be in love with the process. And while I did learn a lot of interesting tools and some ways into character development, I certainly did not see a lot of ethical protocols. It wasn't just one class, it was several classes. Sometimes it could be an entire school, so it's several different teachers that are acting like that. It's a mentality. I don't really understand why it sort of gravitates towards one particular school to another particular school, but you have to watch out for this. This is something that exists. There's people that prey on the wallets and the bodies of young people in Hollywood. You know, I, I have had a lot more success with one-on-one -on -one acting classes, but again, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta make sure that the person that's holding your heart and mind in their hands is not a crazy person, which is hard to do. Because a lot of times people will hide behind the eccentricities of their personality and their clout. And they'll be like, but I'm just a, you know, I'm just a master of the art. It's like, bull you're an ass. Don't manipulate me. Don't do the wrong thing to people. Like, I I'm gonna hold you to a standard of protocol because you know what? You are not my boss. That's the thing, see? It's like the acting teachers wanna pretend like they're your boss. You pay them. You literally are paying them. They wanna act like they don't need you in their class. Of course they need you in their class. They want every single head in that class whether they tell you they do or not. It's bullshit. I've seen so much weird mental manipulation go down. Like people get naked in class. I know that there's probably some theater people who understand that that's an exercise. <laughs> I don't even know. But there was a lot of nudity, unnecessary nudity. Acting class should not be a cathartic place where people take out their grievances or their like weird things that happen. I had a very hard time getting deeper into my craft while in acting class. I was stuck. I was stuck in the social hierarchies and the unethical behaviors that were sort of around me. And by the way, I'm not saying that I'm not to be held accountable. I certainly was a part of the, you know, the drinking and the dating and all that stuff. Like I was a part of that. I was totally swept up in it for several years. And like I said, there was value to some of it, but I just don't condone a lot of it. And I really want to warn people against it. Now, Scientology, okay. So basically I was eventually invited to sort of attend a Scientology orientation by uh, a couple individuals were suggesting it after a breakup that I had with an individual that was in the class. So anyway, I went into an orientation in Scientology at the Celebrity Center in California. It was perfectly fine. There was a quippy little uh, intro video that they give to you. And then they suggest some classes that you can take as sort of an intro to religion or the philosophy. You see people that are familiar faces everywhere you go. Something that is big in Scientology principles is being organized, which is why I think a lot of people who are coming off of drugs and alcohol are so seduced to sort of like become a part of it because they're like, oh, I can get my life together. And a lot of them do. And then a lot of them end up wearing uniforms and living in certain, I guess, dorms and stuff like that that are sort of around that area in Hollywood. And you'll see them walking by, going to and from their meetings. It's weird how there's sort of like tendrils of philosophies everywhere you look. If you're not careful, you'll become a part of a philosophy and you won't have your own philosophy. So if there's anything that I can tell you is that stick to your guns, do the work that you need to do on yourself and don't let anyone break you down. You figure it out for yourself. 
And yes, it's good to have mentorship, but consider the source.